Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be star forcing. Now, if you know me, I'm the type of person to not really fund unless there is some sort of discounts going on. And what that usually means is either DMT, cube sale, and 5, 10, 15, or other events. Just to make things cheaper on myself, and I don't mind waiting a bit for it. Because I've actually waited quite a bit for this uh, store force event. I actually had enough money on the previous 30% off, but uh, I wanted to wait because it was just going to be easier on me ment mentally because I wouldn't boom anything at 15 to 16 stars, and I could save on the safeguard costs. And I did do uh, the math on what's going to be cheaper, whether it's going to be 5, 10, 15 that's going to be cheaper, or it's going to be a 30% off that's going to be cheaper. So yeah, obviously 5, 10, 15 was going to be cheaper and less stressful because you know, the 15 stars to 16 stars is basically free, so yeah. And if you do happen to boom, uh, the 11th star is free too. Now in this video, I did mess up a few of my star catches, which, you know, that kind of hurt because I feel like some of those could have been passable, maybe, and my items would not have boomed. So this was kind of a very heartbreaking video because it did cost quite a bit. Uh, in total, I spent, I think, a hundred something bill on this. I'll post a summary at the end of this video on how much money I spent. But in total, I saved up quite a bit of money, over 150 to 180 bill for this Store Force event. I didn't use everything because originally in, I was intending to go for 21 star and everything because apparently the average with replacements for getting to 21 star is 30 bill. So I guess on this video, I was quite somewhat unlucky and I did boom a few times as well. Uh, not as much as I thought I would, but I did boom a few times. I saved up, I think, close to 1,000 droplets just in case I boom. So I had quite a bit of preparation for booms and mesos too, I guess. And I think a good idea for store forcing is, you know, even being as impatient as I am, I think a good idea would be to wait until the star catch thing resets a little bit. And I think every little bit helps with star catching because it could be the boom chance if you star catch versus not star catch. Um, that's what I feel like because I've boomed a lot less than anticipated. And I'd star catch on basically all of my stars. Uh, I probably should have waited for, for it to reset at the 10 minute mark. And for those of you who don't know, the star uh, catch game gets faster as you play more of it. And I think if you miss uh, some of it, it gets faster. And there's sort of a bar for it. And then it resets every 10 minutes that you're not doing anything. Uh, you could be walking around, obviously, but you know, if you're not store forcing actively, then it resets at the 10 minute mark. So XX0, XX10, 20, 30, and so on. But yeah, basically now all my arcanes are 20 starred and I think I'm going to wait a bit before I store force arcanes again. Uh, just because I think 20 star is good enough for me for now. I have other things I need to work on that will be cheaper and give me better gains. So I'm gonna wait for that to happen first and just, uh, you know, use my resources more wisely and yeah as you can see the total spent here on this chart Did you call it chart let's call it a chart why not or a grid whatever you want to call it is 140 bill and with replacements it comes out to around 150 bill because i overall i boomed around five times I boomed twice on my shoulder, which kind of hurt because shoulders cost quite a bit. And I also boomed a few of my uh, other arcanes that use loose lit droplets. So that was pretty fun. It was cheaper than the shoulder for sure. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, 
at least I'm not 140 billion on one item and I still haven't gotten it to 22 star. I think if I spent this 100 something bill into one item and try to get a 22, I might not have gotten it to 22. And I also would get a lot less gains compared to right now. I think the Star Force event probably gave me 1k to 1.5k stats, maybe I want to say, and obviously a bunch of attack as well. Uh, I didn't do my weapon because I plan on getting a Genesis weapon in 6 months anyways, and that's going to be essentially a free 22 star weapon. And that's really the only reason why I do Black Mage, is to get a free 22 star item, and yeah. Free stuff. Not gonna lie though, this whole video was going to be way longer than this. Probably around 2-3 to three hours, maybe even 4 hours long. I just took some of the snippets from here and there, the booms, and I guess the goals where we reach 22 star on each one of these items. Otherwise, it would have just been too long, and you just call this, I guess, a highlight reel of the whole thing. Which I think is much more interesting to watch. Uh, surprisingly, 10 to 15 did not take me as long as I thought it would. So. The time was slightly shorter there, but you know, still, 4 hours worth of footage, and I had to just edit it down to this. Anyways, that's it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoy, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and do leave a comment down below on what videos you guys want to see next, uh, on any questions you guys may have, and I'll try to get to them. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.